Okay, I just read um, the difference between an asset and a liability, um, which is more confusing to the average person. Um, because if you look up the word asset and liability in the definition, in the dictionary, it can confuse many people because a lot of people don't comprehend what assets are and what liabilities are, okay? Just like how you can read a book, reading, uh, looking at the words, being able to see the words, you know, anyone can do, but being able to comprehend what a story, what the words are telling you, what a story is, you know, what, what uh, the words are actually telling you, you know, it's giving you a story, that is true comprehension. So, in order to understand, you know, to have a good foundation of financial literacy, you got you got to understand um, what assets are and what liabilities are, and you got to be able to tell the distinction between both of them. Okay. Now, I don't know too much about assets and liabilities, but I can tell you the distinction between both of them. An asset puts money in your pocket. Okay. That's what assets are. Now, if you go tell if you go ask a rich person that they're probably going to either tell you it's simp simply just like that or they're probably going to lead you to a confusing path they're probably going to give you a confusing answer okay but assets simply whatever the asset is it simply puts money in your pocket okay a liability liabilities are something that you're liable for okay now what what, what is a liability liabilities are meaning um okay liabilities are something that you're basically liable for like you don't want to be liable for anything because if you are liable for something you're gonna to have to come you're gonna to have to come up with an excuse you know for being liable for that you know what I mean or you're gonna to have to come up with money you know because you're liable because it's a liability you know what I mean you have to come up with something you know so that causes you to have an expense you know what i mean that causes you to have an expensive income or it causes you to have an expense of thought you know because if you if you have a liable for something then you have to be you're gonna have to be accountable for it and you you don't want to be accountable for having a liability so like let's say if you have a book right this is what a liability is if you have a book, right, and you need to return it to the library, but you burned the book, you didn't necessarily burn the book, but it got washed out. You know what I mean? You took your car into the car wash, you left your windows open, the book got wet, the book is now ruined. Now you are liable for that book. Now you, it's not yours. You can't take it back to the library because the book is ruined. So now you're liable. You have to come up with something. You have to come up with an excuse. You have to come up either with an excuse or you have to come up with money. So it is an expense, you know? So that is li a liability is something that causes you to have an expense, you know? An asset is something totally different. An asset is something that like puts simply puts money in your pocket. That's what an asset is. Assets can be something as easy as sunglasses you know if it's sunglasses is gonna put money in your pocket by all means that's your asset you get what i'm saying so i'm just putting that that i'm just putting that out there on letting you know giving you information of what an asset is and what a lot and what a liability is okay so you can take this you can take this information and do with it whatever you want now that you know what they are can do with it whatever you want or you can study and buy assets you know buy assets buy assets buy assets all day buy I hate this black thing on my finger but <laughs> it's almost gone it's going to the tip of my my nail now so I guess every time I clip away at it it'll just be gone probably be gone maybe by next year end of next year maybe but it's bothering me it's almost gone but you guys take it easy now, and I'm just going to end the video by saying buy assets, buy assets, buy assets. If you want money in your pocket, if you want to get rich, buy assets. Simple as that.